You are into tackle because you're into fishing. You are into unboxings because it's a phenomenon that seems to be popular, taking stuff out of a box. I have a box full of tackle. So this is going to work out great. What's up everybody? It's Keeping It Real Fishing and there's going to be a bevy of these tackle warehouse unboxings. Why? Because as I'm making this video they're having their Black Friday sale. They've been having it for a week. 20% off on just about everything site-wide. Uh, if you haven't heard about it, um, check it out. So, uh, yeah guys, what I lack in quantity, I think I'm making up for in quality. This is the definitive Tackle Warehouse unboxing. Um, not really, but I got some cool stuff in here and I'd like to give you a closer look at uh, some of the things that I have. So, uh, shall we? Let's take a look. Let's start small, right? Just like at Christmas time, let's start with the easy stuff first. <laughs> Alright everybody. Uh, Rapala DT6. This is in the Ike's Custom Ink Colors. These are gorgeous colors. I'm really a fan of this particular one here, this blueback herring. Uh, it's very subdued in the water. I have it in the DT4 and I'll, I'd like to probably get it in all the colors. I'm not someone who insists upon having a million colors. I, I do like to have a couple core colors that I feel work and you know just kind of stock up on all the different depth ranges you need of when you find a good bait. I really like the DT series. I really enjoy this color. Uh, I enjoy it obviously because I've had success on it. Uh, and this fish is present in the waters that I, many of the waters that I fish. So, um, Ike's DT6 and the blueback herring. Moving along. DM Custom Baits Piranha Swim Jig. This is in the baby bass color. Uh, I just got a couple of these a few months ago and I was really impressed by um, really what separates this jig from say like a chatterbait or some of the other ones is just the detail in the skirt, the colors that they choose and the patterns. Um, and I, I, I love Z-Man chatterbaits but uh, these just, uh, you're going to see intricacies to the skirt and the color choices that are really nice. They take the time to uh, really put together some nice combinations. So, if I can get this thing up there, there we go. It's kind of a chrome black blade on this particular one. Uh, some of the other models do have silver or gold or various other things. There you see the skirt. So I hope that comes through, but in the green and black you also have some small green tinsel or glitter rather which is in there it's pretty nice white on bottom and there's a the top so these are really nice this one actually has the long skirt you can see there's like a second section that's cut longer and then it comes with this really nice trailer I haven't put it on yet obviously uh, green with that sparkle back so I think that's just a great color combination to mimic a baby bass even has the red eye. That would, I guess, go along with uh, a small mouth. Very nice. Alright, guys. My favorite lure Kitek Swing Impact Fat Swim Baits. Uh, I have these in a bevy of colors, and uh, this is the 5.8 inch in the IU color. I really do enjoy the larger size. In my experience, it doesn't deter the small fish uh, very much at all. I've caught plenty of one pounders and two pounders on this, but it stands to reason that it will attract uh, a bigger bite sometimes. I've gotten some decent fish on it as well. So it's a pretty sizable uh, swim bait, as you can see. 5.8 inches. The IU color, like all Kitek swing impact fats, there's a distinct midpoint to it. And you can see they'll always have kind of one color on top and one color on the bottom. This one's a little bit more natural, a little bit more subdued. There's no glitter in it or anything like that. It's just a very natural looking color. There you can see the hook slots. You can see the recessions for if you want to put in nail weights. The accompanying slot on top. These are, uh, these are my favorite bait of all baits. The Kitek Swing Impact Fats. I've made a couple videos about these. And uh, this is a really nice color. 
and uh, in that nice uh, big uh, 5.8, just shy of 6 inch size. <clears throat> Revenge, swim bait. Look at the detail on this one, guys. These are really, really sweet looking. I have a lot of things in bluegill configurations. There's a lot of uh, bluegill, sunfish uh, in most of the waters that I fish, and so I kind of err on the side of that. That makes up a lot of the various lures, whether it's crankbaits or anything. I try to look for that color combination. And I saw these, and I really liked what they were doing. This is in a one quarter ounce. You can see the detail there on that head. Now, this is actually one part of a two-part system that I'm going to go for. My swim jig to give a little body. I do want to have a trailer on it, so let's put that guy down there. And I kind of splurged on these. These were really expensive, considering you only get three of them. I think these were about $7, just for three. Bass Tricks, Spin Tricks trailer, number five, means five inch, in the perch color. But I thought that this combination of this trailer, I like the detail in it, and that swim jig head would be amazing and as it turns out it is these are really well made it's uh, it almost feels like a solid body because the inner hollow part the cavity is really small so it has a good amount of mass to it which is why I got one and a quarter this way I can kinda of keep it up higher really sweet trailer You see that there's glitter in there there's almost like a clear coat to it as well really really shiny it's very well made so let me show you the finished product I got this actually in two sizes this is the uh, quarter ounce and let me show you how this all comes together here is the half ounce and I'll just show you that head because the half ounce head is larger and you can see a lot more detail in that head if you're into detail and if you think it makes a difference I guess if you're in some really clear water little things like this might make a difference, but honestly guys, for me, just aesthetically, I just thought it was really good looking. This bait is more for me. I was just like, man, that's going to look really amazing. So, when you put that jig on this trailer, you have a pretty wicked combination. Pretty wicked. And you can see everything just matches up perfectly. So you have the orange, the bright orange right there at the base of the skirt with kind of the yellow bottom just like you would have on the fish and then below it you know you have the same not so much the yellow but you have that bright orange spot there so those two match up perfectly and then even these lines here you know the lines in the swim bait if you look at the skirt you can see the lines in the skirt so everything here just looks awesome Real, real natural. If you got bluegill, sunfish, this is a, like I said, those trailers aren't cheap, but if you want to splurge a little bit and get something really realistic looking, I think this does a great job. <clears throat> All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Here we go. Oh, got to get those out of the way. I don't want to distract anybody here. Get you excited for the next thing. Heading. One knocker spook, classic lure, can't beat it. This is in a ghost color. You can kind of see through it at the right angles there, white on bottom, kind of more natural from the sides, a little bit of glitter. It's just a solid all around color. It's very nice. Let's see here, what do we got, guys? Hmm, let's start with these. There's two different colors. These are, let's see, what's the right word? Hmm. Uh, I'd say dope, if I had to choose a word. No, seriously, guys, these are, these are awesome. Um, I just use these a little bit upon getting them. Uh, this actually, I'm lying. This isn't an unboxing. It is an unboxing, but I've already been fishing since I got it. So uh, I've tried a lot of this stuff out. And these things, just upon my first usage, I think I found my definitive trailer. Um, I have a lot of lures, I have a lot of trailer, I have a lot of everything, but I'm always kind of just buying more stuff in my quest for searching for the, the best one. And when I find that good one, I kind of don't buy that category of bait anymore. So for instance, a little diversion here, but like these Kytexts, I don't really look at these kind of swim baits anymore, these generically styled ones. 
these work for me they've worked amazingly and so that's it I'm done I, I buy these and I'm set I don't really worry about the other manufacturers so I got a lot of jigs I'm still kinda of looking for my favorite um, a jig trailer rather searching for my favorite jig trailer I think I found it and let me show you why real quickly the Z-Man Turbo Cross first of all I think they have a pretty good look to them it's not super super subtle in that it, there's nothing on it you know some baits that just it's like hardly anything it's super streamlined it's very vague there's not appendages or creases or anything but it's not going for that total anatomically correct having a million legs and flappers either I think it's a good compromise between having ridges little legs uh, these things here there's enough going on and it strikes a nice balance between being realistic and kind of just being generic um, of course here's the big plus is that it's a last tech so you can do one of these jobs right there and you can you know do one of these things right there and what I really like about it one is I like the size to me it's not too big and it's not too small I have some trailers that are larger and to me I usually have, end, up, end up having to cut them down I have some that are just smaller and I don't think they have as, as big of a profile as I want most of the time in the water so I like the size uh, like I said I like the look of it but the big three components to it why I think this is why, why it's become I think it's going to be my favorite uh, trailer I used it once and really the way it swims in the water I, I, I it's going to be my probably go-to is this number one is um, these things here the way they swim you see this in a lot of baits now this design where it's just kind of like that sharp crease taken out of the claw and the reason they do that is because it catches a lot of water and um, that's pretty much it these swim really really good I like trailers that are uh, that catch water whether it's like a twin tail or something I like motion it's some kind of spinning or flapping motion uh, when my jig is falling uh, for the trailer to have that action I don't like ones that are just like a straight claw and it kind of just like maybe flutters a little bit I like it to have a lot of action one for the presence in the water and two because I like it to slow my jig down um, I know sometimes the reaction strikes are where it's at going real fast but I'd say 90% of the time I want fish to have as much of a chance to see my jig as possible so this design here and like I said a lot of manufacturers are doing this but the way it catches the water it just really slows it down as this uh, as this bait is falling so it impedes the uh, you know its resistance to the water and it's going to give it more time in the strike zone so I like that these move the other part of it is not only are they going to swim really good on the way down but once they get to the bottom because it's a last tech this stuff floats like crazy man like this thing right here if you just drop it in a bucket of water it'll just sit on top like a bobber a last tech just straight up floats so when this gets to the bottom now these things are going to the sky even more so than any manufacturer. Some of the other ones, they kind of go up a little bit. It's kind of slow. These things are like, boom. So whether you're into that philosophy of the defensive position of a crayfish or whatever, I don't know if that's necessarily true, if they're going to strike one in a defensive position. Who knows? But all I know is that something, it's better that a lure is risen or rising off the bottom than flat, simply for visibility. If something's up here and moving around, it's going to be easier for a bass to see than if it's this squashed on the bottom not doing anything alright so they swim good they shoot up and part number three is the elastic um, you can I have elastic worm that I used an entire season and I didn't change it I mean eventually I did just because I was like you know what, let me just try another one the color started to change a little bit but it didn't break so literally they give you six in this package I mean I mean it, it sounds far-fetched but if you've ever used these products you know you could probably use this trailer an entire season, spring, summer, and fall, and not have to change it. So to me, this just wins on all fronts. It's an amazing trailer. I highly suggest you guys pick up a pack. Oh, and the best part is, the last, this stuff is cheap. You know, it's kind of weird. I always thought that because they lasted so long that they would charge more, you know, like $10, $15 a pack because a pack might last you a couple seasons, so they would charge you more. These things are cheaper than other brands. This stuff is like $3.50. So, I don't know, guys. I think this is a big time winner. Check out these uh, Turbo Cross from Z Man. Moving on.
hot frogs. Guys, this is, I'm going to let you know a little secret here. If you're not fishing a pop frog, you need to be. I don't know what happened, why these fell out of favor. I don't think they ever were in favor. I, it's very rare that I've ever see, talked to someone who even knows of this bait. I don't know what the deal is, but these things are just ridiculous. First of all, they're huge. That's one of the things I love about them. This is a huge frog. That's in green pumpkin. Let me give you a little context here. Here's a lunker hunt lunker frog. And then I know these guys here, these lunker frogs come in two sizes. This is the main size. This is the normal size, whatever it is. Here's the um, pop frogs. This is a big time bait. Now those legs are back now, which is going to happen in the water because they swim really easily. But, you know, even in the forward position, you know, there is no comparison here, guys. This is a big big fish lure. Big time, baby. So, <clears throat> what makes this so great? Well, uh, for one thing, it's really heavy. This thing weighs about an ounce. So you can cast the living hell out of it. Even though these legs are flapping around a little bit, they're streamlined enough, they don't slow it down, just because of the sheer immensity of the bait, you can hoist this. If you thought you can cast something like a standard size coppers far, try hoisting one of these out. They cast a mile. Second thing, it's a last tech. Again, you could probably fish this frog unless you get snapped off, obviously. You're going to fish it one frog all season. Okay? Another advantage, as opposed to the hollow bodies, it's never going to take in water. Right? This is not going to happen. Um, and then going to the action of it. One, it's a popper. Two, you can swim it. So it is so many things in one with that huge presence in the water. You know, these guys here are just amazing. Absolutely amazing. This is going to catch you a big fish, guys. If you want to put it on, you're going to, you're going to do away with some of those smaller bites, but let me look at this thing in my hand, and I don't have a necessarily small hand. Again, next to a lunker hunt. It's going to last you forever. You're going to get some positive hook sets because you have that hook slot there. It's going to be, you know, you don't even have to text pose it or anything. It's just going to ride in there. You can put a big hook on it. You have to put a big hook on this thing just because of how far the spacing is from my finger here to the entry point. This is, uh, what do I usually rock on here? This is like a 7 aught hook. 7 aught uh, owner beast, ultra wide gap. I mean, you're not, you're not missing them on that kind of a hook when that pops out. These things are incredible. Pop it. Stop it on top. Just floats, you know, floats just like a bobber. It's never going to sink on you. Can't sink on you. Those legs swim like crazy. They're so big, they cause a ton of commotion. This is the one you want to be using, guys. Trust me on this one. Pick these up. And I'm not the one that told you to do it, but make sure you get white. Alright guys, here we go. Let's get into some of the really, the last uh, pop frogs are cool, but now we're going to really cool stuff. Matt Lores. This is a blueback herring. Matt Lores makes really, really nice stuff. Um, this was my year that I got more into big swim bait fishing. Big for me is not that big because I'm in New Jersey, I'm in the East Coast, so I'm not... I know some guys here throw the really big stuff, but I'm not there yet, but I am getting there. And this is kind of one of my forays into it. I have a couple other six-inch six inch swim baits, one from Castaic, uh, actually a couple from Castaic. I've yet to get a Huddleston, and uh, I like this guy here a lot. Matt Lores, the, de the detail is just amazing, the coloring and everything. You have your spot there if you want to put a treble on it. The wide boot tail. It says Matt on back. There's a little stabilizer fin here. Uh, just keeps everything uh, kind of more upright. She's a beaut, huh? You get a bite on this. It's going to be a pretty decent bite. Pretty decent. Look forward to doing a, uh, a more thorough review on this come spring. Right now it's getting pretty cold. 
Although, I'm going to be using this until the lakes freeze over. I'm going to be looking for that big bite, rolling someone across. But in terms of a full review and some underwater footage, I'm going to wait until it gets a little bit warmer. So if you're interested, guys, I will be doing that eventually. Awesome, awesome lures. More mat lures? You said it. Look at that. Look at that bluegill, man. My first... My first review ever, actually. If you go back, it was 2000, I think beginning of 2011, um, was of a Matt Lures bluegill. Very first one I did. And uh, here's another one. This is an, actually a custom color. You don't believe me? Look, it says custom. Tackle Warehouse has their own, it's called like TW Bluegill. And what it does is they put like kind of a, a lighter chartreuse, this section on the tail. You see how it's kind of like that yellowish? And here on the fins, they do that yellow there, and they brighten up the orange here. And um, it's a little bit different. Actually, let me show you. I, I have the, uh, the male bluegill, which is very, very popular. Let me compare the two side by side. Hold on a second. So there we go. There's the male bluegill. And here's the same one in the uh, Tackle Warehouse custom color. So basically, you just see it's those fins. They're brightening up. Here's a good angle. Can really see the differences there. But these are, uh, oh boy, these are incredible little lures between the detail and the nice pliable rubber and the swimming action. Oh, I love these things. They're just, they're just amazing. And they're nice intermediate size. If you're going into fishing swim baits, and particularly maybe if you're somebody here in the Northeast. Uh, New York, Delaware, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, you know, maybe you're a little shy about throwing that 6 inch or certainly that 8 inch bait. This is a good way to get started into it. This is 4 inches, but it has a lot more profile than say like your Kitex or, you know, your uh, any of your standard kind of generic looking swim baits, the smaller ones. It has a whole lot more profile in the water because of that side image. It's just it's so much bigger. Uh, lengthwise 4 inches, right, but in terms of presence in the water, it has a lot. So um, this is uh, not guaranteed to get you a big bite. I have gotten relatively small fish on this too, but you are upping your chances. And this is a great way to segue into swim bait fishing. And you can get away with it on a medium heavy rod too. This weight here, or this uh, lure here, comes right at about one ounce flat. So um, ideally you want to get into a, a longer rod, something over seven feet, and you want to get into a heavy action. But you don't need to. With this, you can roll with whatever medium heavy you have, and you should be pretty good. All right, guys. So, all right, guys. So, Matt Lures, bluegill in that uh, tackle warehouse custom color. Okay, and real quickly, I have one thing after this. There's kind of a piece de resistance of this order. Uh, these are some solar back glasses. These are the. Uh, Knox series. They're in kind of a gunmetal gray. I really like the color. They have the uh, that green lens. If you're going to be able to see it here, but that yellow table, everything kind of looks yellow. But these are uh, green tinted lenses. And let's see, they got the rubber on the inside here, rubber on the nose. This rubber uh, allegedly gets a little bit more tactile as it heats up. Uh, let's see, some cool things here. Um, See if we can focus there. Solar Armor by Solar Bat. And this is cool because just about every sunglasses I've ever seen are made in China. These are made in the USA. Very nice, guys. Uh, that gunmetal looks pretty sweet. Do you want to see what it looks like? Okay, all right, I'll show you. Hold on. Not bad, not bad, right? Pretty, pretty cool. And in the box, uh, you have your little case for them, cleaning instructions, warranty, etc. These are uh, 40 bucks before the 20% off discount. Pretty sweet. Okay. Here we go, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready or not, 
here we go. Talking about slinging some bigger swim baits. Here we go, guys. You're looking at something very, very unique. This is the MS Slammer. That stands for Mike Shaw. And this is a individually handmade out of wood, carved and painted by Mike Shaw. This is the MS Slammer in 7 inch. Um, you're going to fall into one of two camps. Either you're going to immediately recognize this lore and be like, oh yeah, cool, MS Slammer, you know, I know those, those are great. Or you're going to have never heard of it. It's, it's one of the two. For a lot of people, this is going to be underground. You're going to be like, what, who, where? Other people are going to be like, yeah, dude, that's you know, famous, uh, you know, kind of big swim bait. Um, he makes it in a 9 inch. I think he even makes it in like a 12 or 13 inch. So this is the 7 inch, and I thought this was probably most appropriate for me here in New Jersey. It is a sizable lure. It is a very sizable lure. A lot of people are going to look at this and say, what? If you think like a Zara Spook or something like that is big, uh, let's see, what can I compare it to here? This is that Matt Lore's Bluegill. <laughs> um, not the same lore category, of course, but Lunker Hunt, Lunker Frog. Well, these are both topwater. You know, a little bit of a different category of fish. A lot of fish can strike this guy. you got to have some stones to go after the MS Slammer. So, guys, let's take a look at this thing here. These are not cheap. Uh, as of now, this is the most I've ever paid for a lure. This is a $35 lure. Why does it cost so much? Well, look at it, guys. It's made of wood. You can see the unfinished part of the wood there. Uh, there's his signature on it, Mike Shaw. I'm guessing that's the date he made it. It's probably April 13th. Um, that's probably how he batches it in case he has any problem with the wood or whatever. Look at the detail on this paint. Just look at this job. It's amazing. It's such a beautiful lore. There's a the tail. Mike Shaw, MS. It's held in there with these two little pins. These are replaceable. You can get uh, replacements. They also sell it in a triple segment, and I think there's even one that has four segments. There's also a mini version, which basically stops about here and has a long worm for a tail. But I think the seven inch, the seven or the nine inches is pretty much your standard and with the single hinge. This is kind of the original one. So I just wanted to give you guys some air time. If you've ever thought about one of these, if you wanted to get a closer look, that's just what I'm doing here, guys. I just want to really show you what this looks like in person. Let me hold it away. I do a lot of close-up stuff. Big lure. Um, weight on it, I want to say it's 1.7. Going off memory here. I know it's under 2. I want to say it's 1.7. This is something you do have to step up your rod for. Um, you have to get into the heavy action for this guy if you want to do it safely. Just just the, the act of casting it, if you really whip it hard, you can snap a rod that's not rated you know, to go up this high. Let's take a look at that lip. This is, uh, you see the angle of that lip? One of the great things about this lure is it's primarily a wake bait. So if you keep your rod tip high and you're real nice and slow, it stays on top and it's going to have that nice kind of snake, seductive, undulating back and forth. Um, but like, it's not a dedicated wake. If you get your rod tip down and when it hits the water, if you give it, you know, five or six real abrupt cranks, you can get this down a couple feet. I forget how deep it goes to. I want to say you can get it around two feet, maybe three. And, you know, just real, real quick, get it down there, and then you could slow down. And so if the fish aren't breaching the surface, you know, a lot of times you just have to get your lure down maybe six inches, but they just won't crack the surface, no problem. You know, you're not, you're not forced to, uh, you know, to have it as a wake bait only. Uh, you can see where the bite's at and, and fish it accordingly. You know, surface, or you can go a little subsurface and keep it there, however you want to do it. And one <laughs> cool thing I noticed here, guys, look at the eyes. No matter how you turn them, it's one of those funky eyes. They look at you. So if you go like this, it's like they're looking forward. If you go like that, it's kind of like they turn around and start <laughs> looking at it. It's like it looks back at you. Camera shut off. That tells me I've gone way too long. Uh, the eyes, not that that has any bearing on the fish striking or whatever, but it just thought it was a really, really cool thing. No matter where you turn it, it's looking at you.
Alright guys, so that is my super cool, very awesome uh, Black Friday Tackle Warehouse order. Thanks for watching.